No business says Red Wing, Minnesota like the 105-year-old Red Wing Shoe Company. And no person today embodies the Red Wing Shoe Company like Bill Sweezy. Well, I was born in Red Wing, Minnesota and uh, grew up there. Still live in that area, so I, I, except for going away for college, I've been there my whole life. The Sweezy family has had controlling interest of Red Wing shoes since the 1920s. Bill, the middle of five children, started working at Red Wing Shoe Company during the summers when he was just 14 years old. I was grinding wells and I was <laughs> cleaning things and, and just doing things a 14-year-old could do. I've painted uh, every bathroom in the facilities and <laughs> I've mowed lawns and, and uh, painted fences, and so I did a lot of that type of work. He worked as a chairlift operator at a local ski area during the winter months, which was a fitting start for a man who today is still an outdoor enthusiast. Bill is incredibly adventurous. He surfs, he rock climbs, he ice climbs, he heli skis, he scuba dives. And at any point when, you might, when I might call him to talk about a business issue, I'll always start with, where are you? And it can be anywhere from, you know, in the mountains of Canada to off the shores of, you know, Malibu surfing or all sorts of different things. But when I call, he's got time and we talk. That's because Bill Sweezy has always put his people first. It's a hallmark quality that has defined not only Sweezy as a man, but as the CEO of Red Wing Shoes. Bill lives and breathes those ethics every day, every decision he makes, which is probably the most distinctive characteristic I've ever known about him. So when we have choices about uh, between the financial success of the company and the well-being of the community, he will always choose the community. He cares deeply about people. He cares about the community that he serves. He is someone that is unshakable in terms of those values. To the point where Sweezy has most likely foregone increased profit margins through the use of cheaper international labor in exchange for his employees' welfare. Red Wing employees receive top shelf health benefits, pension programs, ongoing training, and they even have the Shoebox Cafe in the St. James Hotel, which is owned by the Red Wing Shoe Company and located across the street. It was very important for him that we have offerings that make it easy for people to eat and drink together. So we have free beverages for the employees anytime, day or night. We have a program from the hotel where you can go onto our intranet. An employee can order a lunch. You walk downstairs and pick it up. It's very affordable to, to eat right at work. Yet his values stretch beyond the Red Wing city limits. Sweezy has served on several boards across the state, including as a trustee at the Minnesota Science Museum and the Minnesota Business Partnership. He's been chairman of the Minnesota Better Business Bureau and board member of the Young Presidents Organization. Of course, he's also a trustee with the Red Wing YMCA. Bill is, I would say, a visionary leader, someone that uh, spends a great deal of time thinking about the future of Red Wing Shoe Company and other organizations that he serves on. Greed and business executives are often linked together. Bill while managing and overseeing a very successful business. Again, his, his goal is to watch for the betterment of the company long-term, the brands, and the people, again, that manage that. We live in a small town, and in a small town, everything is about relationships, and uh, much more about that than in transactions. And so whether it's your employees, customers, the shareholders, Everybody you work with, you try and develop really long-term relationships with. And the only way that can be worked well is, is if you're loyal to the relationship and loyal to, to the other party. And, uh, and so, you know, whether it's personal life, business life, or family, that, to me that's a really big value.